rosemary. I know before I said that one of my favorite smells was ginger, but actually rosemary. In any case, I have a pork chop marinated with rosemary and anchovy. I know, I know. You probably think that you don't like anchovies, but you should try this recipe because you might not even notice that it's in there. You're just gonna say, yum, these are so delicious. To start off with, I need a half a cup of rosemary. That's a lot of rosemary. It's not all gonna end up on your pork chop, so don't worry. You're just making a marinade. Chop it up after you measure it. You don't wanna have a half a cup of chopped measured rosemary. That would be way too much. It smells so good though, I feel like I'm in a pine forest. I'm hiking through the pine forest. I stumble across some pork chops. I throw them in a marinade. <laughs> Let's measure it and see how much it is now. I mean, that's about a quarter cup now it's chopped. What else do I need? Six cloves of garlic. Peel your garlic and then you're gonna put it through a garlic press. And the great thing about using the garlic press here is that the garlic will be really, really fine and it'll have a lot less chance of burning in the broiler because that's where I'm gonna cook the pork chops. Plus, you know what? My mom used these when I was growing up. So this is how I'm used to doing it. Learned how to cook for my mom. That was really fast, right? Much faster than mincing it. Okay, now for the piece de resistance of this marinade, the anchovies. See this little fork? It came with the jar of anchovies. You need 14 to 16 of them, which is basically this whole jar. Don't freak out. It adds a depth of flavor that is unexpected. It's in Caesar salad dressing. You like Caesar salad dressing, right? Now chop up your anchovies. You want them so fine that you don't even notice that they're in there. It's like basically a paste. The 16 anchovies chops down to like two tablespoons, basically not very much. I love them so much, I'm licking them off my fingers. That's gross, right? All right, they can go in the bowl. It doesn't look good. Just don't look, avert your eyes. I don't know how I can promise you that you're gonna like it. So now that all that's left for this marinade is a quarter cup of red wine vinegar and a half a cup of olive oil. Into the bowl with the rest of the marinade. A Little bit of salt, pepper. Now for the pork chops. So you just swish them around a little bit in the marinade, get them coated on both sides and then just let them rest for about 15 minutes. And you just wanna let the marinade penetrate into the pork a little bit and just fl start flavoring it up. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to each one. Mash that in there a little bit. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. I mean, you could cook them right away. Don't get me wrong, you can. It'll just taste a little bit better if you let it sit for a few minutes. 15 minutes have passed. Gotta go. I'm ready to put these guys in. The broiler's preheated. It should take about five minutes per side for these pork chops. Oh, it smells so good already. The minute it gets under the heat, after five minutes you want to turn them over. They're already nice and sizzly, right? And then after you turn them over, you cook them another five to six minutes. It's savory and succulent and delightful. All right, I think they're done. I'll know that they're done in a minute. They certainly look done. You can tell if pork chops are done in the same way that you can tell if chicken is done. It should feel nice and firm. I'm using the pressure method and it seems fine, but you could totally use a thermometer if you want. Stick it into the deepest part and it should read 140 degrees. Make sure to scoop up any unburned bits from the pan and put it on top of your pork chops because it's still super delicious. Feed it to your family and see if they notice the anchovy or do they just say, mom, this is so delicious. Or dad, this is so delicious, I don't understand why. Could it be that there are anchovies in there? 